Welcome back mga kamatlets. It's me again, Teacher Robert. So, our, our previous video, we discussed about quadratic inequalities. Huh? So, in this video, our topic is all about solving quadratic inequalities. Now, in this video, you will know how to solve quadratic inequalities now in the previous video we uh, it's all about quadratic inequalities in one vari variable now in this video we will talk about quadratic inequalities in two variable now you all know how to solve quadratic inequalities solve find the solution set and graph those quadratic inequalities in two variables okay so quadratic inequalities in one variable like what we discussed in our previous video are inequalities of second degree involving the symbols greater than less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to or not equal the following are examples of quadratic inequalities in one variable now we have x squared minus 3x minus uh, is less than 0. And we have x squared plus 2x is greater than 5. And we have x squared is less than or equal to 2. And we have negative 2x squared plus 8x minus 4 is not equal to 0. Now, now we have there are quadratic inequalities that involve two variables. So these inequalities can be written in any of the following forms. So we have y is greater than ax squared plus bx plus c. And we have y is less than ax squared plus bx plus c. And we have also y is greater than or equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. And y is less than or equal to ax squared plus bx plus c where a b and c are real numbers and a is not equal to zero now we already discussed that one why what is the reason why our a and our quadratic inequalities could not be equal to zero now okay we have let's move on to how we are going to graph those quadratic inequalities so these are the steps no the graph of any inequality contains of all solution x, y of the inequality. The steps used to graph a quadratic inequality are identical those used to graph a linear inequality. Now, to graph a quadratic inequality, follow these steps. Na? First, you have to sketch the graph of parabola with equation y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. In short, we are going to to graph uh, the equivalent quadratic or quadratic equation it's one ng derived quadratic equation we have so kung gikan ta sa quadratic inequalities atong i-graph ang correspond ang uh, isang quadratic equation which is y is equal to ex squared plus bx plus c use the dash line so in order to determine whether we use the dash line we are going to uh, find out which of the uh, inequality symbol nga gigamit no kung unsay gigamit nga inequality symbol like for example use the dash line in sketching the parabola for inequalities with less than or greater than so dash line ang gamito na to ana no dash line ang gamito na na and solid lines for inequalities with uh, less than or equal or greater than or equal. Okay? Okay, for number 2. For number 2, we have select a point. After we are we graph the, the parabola, we are going to select a point uh, inside the parabola. So, magpili ta o point. We are going to, uh, it's up to you which point you are going to choose or select. And we are going to check if the point that we we choose we choose uh, is is a solution of the inequality or not, no? 
kung kung kana si nga point ang atong gipili if that point that we selected uh, is a solution or of our inequality or not now we, the third is we uh, if the step 2 is a solution kung ang point si da kung katong nga point is the solution or we, when you see the solution it satisfy our uh, quadratic inequalities so quadratic inequalities ta if it satisfy then it is the solution so kung solution si da since gikan man si da sa sulod puto sabot kanang sulod nga region the uh, inside the region uh, inside region of the parabola that's the the solution set of our inequality so we are going to shade shade the region inside the parabola so if it is not a solution kung it kung dili siya solution or wala siya mo satisfy sa atong quadratic inequalities now we are going to shade the outside region of the parabola kay but pa sabot wala sa sulod ang atong solution to asagawas so, doon haray pilihan. It's either the solution of our uh, quadratic inequalities is inside the parabola, the inside region, or the outside region of our parabola. Nga na ra. Okay. Before we're going to have an example, let's have first a recall. What, what are the parts of a parabola? Okay. So, what are the parts of a parabola? Now, this graph, kaning graph diri ang purma o giyo, that is what we call parabola. That is the graph of our quadratic uh, equation. Quadratic equation. No? So, this, we have the two axes, the y-axis and the x-axis, because if we're going to graph quadratic equation in one or in two variables, or quadratic equation, you have two, you, ha, uh, you need two axes. The, uh, the Cartesian coordinate plane which has two axes, the x and y. The horizontal is the x-axis and the vertical. Vertical is the y-axis. No? Kaya niya siya, the axis. Kaya niya siya, kaya niya siya, kaya niya horizontal niya, okay niya. That's the two axis of the Cartesian coordinate plane. Now we have, okay. Now, the parts of parabola is, we have the uh, the vertex. The vertex, but pasabot. Ano? We have the vertex, the axis of symmetry, the x-intercept, and the y-intercept. What is this axis of symmetry? On or the x-intercept? Now, the x-intercept, these are the x-intercept. Kana siya? No? These are the points that lies on the x-axis. X-axis ga, no? x-axis sila, naa sila, ang point nila naa agad sa x-axis or the horizontal line, naa, nantungod sila sa linya, naa agad sila mismo sa linya, so the x-axis those are what we call x-intercept but pasabot, ni intercept sila sa x and the coordinate of that is x0 x0, but pasabot, si y is 0 oh. then we have the y-intercept Ganina, na may y, x-intercept, karoon na ay y-intercept. Now, we have the y-intercept are those points that lies on the y-axis. Y-axis, na intercept siya sa y-axis. Daan na ito makita mismo sa vertical line or the, the y-axis itself. Ganun na dyan, na intersect siya sa y-axis. No? And the or, uh, coordinate of that is 0, y 0, ang si x na po mo ay 0. Okay? So, kung pangitaon ninyo si y-axis, let x be equal to 0. Kung pangitaon si y-axis, let x be equal to 0. Sa x-intercept, let y be equal to 0. Okay. Para makuha si x-intercept. Now, what is this one? The axis of symmetry. No? The axis of symmetry is a vertical line that intersect, ng agi si ja, sa atong gitawag nga vertex tanawa these are the axis this is the axis of symmetry the axis of symmetry divides the graph or the parabola into two congruent uh, part in which the other half is just a reflection of the other half kana siya gitunga nato ni agi siya sa vertex okay 
Ang agis sa vertex. But pasabot anang axis of symmetry. Uh, katunga si da. Na si da mismo sa tunga-tunga sa atong graph nag-agi. But pasabot. Uh, gitunga na ni da ang atong graph. Sa 2 equal part. 2 congruent part. And then. That implies also that. Kanang isa ka half. Or kanang katunga ni da is just a reflection. Okay. Tanawa. This, if this is the axis of symmetry, kining duha ka point is equal tanawa, equal sila distansya gikan sa axis of symmetry. Kuha? Oh, mao na si Ja. Ang but pasabot. The axis of symmetry also is okay, we have has a formula of x is equal to negative b over 2a. Negative b over 2a. That is the formula and getting the axis of symmetry. Then, let's proceed to the vertex. What is this vertex? Vertex is the turning point. Si Jama o'y turning point sa atong parabola. Diha, ningliko ang atong parabola. Diba? Kung gikan si Jama sa babaw, niingan na si Jama sa vertex yung balik. Ning U-turn. Diba? Kung sa kuhan pa, sa sagdanan pa, ning U-turn. O. Diha si Jama ning libot, ning liko, ning balik. So, that is the turning point of our parabola. And, It can be the minimum or the maximum point of our parabola. Pwede si Jama minimum, pwede si Jama maximum. Ma minimum point si Jama or pinakagamay si Jama, pinakaubo si Jama point is kung ang atong parabola nag open upward. Like for example this one na si vertex may pinakaubos. Pero kung mag open downward na si Jama, kung mag curve baliho na to si vertex po ang pinakababaw. Depende sa atong opening sa atong parabola ang ato vertex could be if, if the vertex could be uh, the maximum or the minimum point di ba depende it depends upon the opening of the parabola now our vertex has a formula of negative b over 2a or xy na si ja xy has the coordinate of xy puto sa but xy coordinate gud si ja where ang nakakugana ni ja kay si ang ijang x Mao po yang atong axis of symmetry, di ba? Ning agi ang axis of symmetry sa vertex. But pasabot, ang value ni axis of symmetry mao ay x ni vertex. So that is negative b over 2a then y. So kung pagitao ni mo if you are going to find the vertex of our parabola, find first the axis of symmetry then substitute it to our original or to our quadratic equation. Then you can find the vertex of our quadratic equation, no? Okay. Like for example, example number one, we have to find the solution set of y is less than x squared plus 3x plus 2 and graph. I-graph na ito. Okay. So, solution, you are going to transform this one into its equivalent quadratic equation. Diba equivalent si Ja? So, we have atong ikuan, less than dari, para in order to solve, In order to graph the parabola, we are going to borrow the equivalent or quadratic equation. We have y is equal to x squared plus 3x plus 2. Now, by that, we are going to... Next step is to determine the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry. Now, we all know that the formula of getting the axis of symmetry is x is equal to negative b over 2e. Now, determine the value of b and a in our quadratic equation dari muna ni atong basihan kaya ato namang gitransform ato namang givaro, gihuwaman ni si da para masolve ang atong kaininga problema gihuwaman na ito si quadratic equation so ang atong b is 3 ang atong a is 1 we have so negative times the value of b which is 3 that is negative 3 over 2 times 1 the value of A is 1, so 2 times 1, we have negative 3 over 2. So, our x-axis is negative 3 over 2. Oha. Then, finding the vertex, substitute it to the quadratic equation. In order to find the vertex, we have negative 3 over 2. Substitute sa itong quadratic equation. So, the result is negative 1 fourth. Oha. Negative 1 fourth. Then, the vertex is equal to, our vertex is, negative 3 over 2 negative 1 over 4 Dili, ang pagbasa ani negative 3 over 2 negative 1 over 4 dili kay and wala yung and yeah. 
O, negative 3 over 2, negative 1 over 4. Okay? So, that's the vertex. Okay, let's proceed to our table of value. Di ha makikita on sa kaimportante pagkuha si vertex or the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry kay, di ba mauni si Diyan nga itong axis of symmetry? Then, as I've said, ang axis of symmetry divides the qu our quadratic or divides the parabola into two congruent part. Subot pa sabot, the other half is just a reflection of the other half. Ang kagana sa quadratic or kuha na to ang axis of symmetry kay madetermine mo kung unsa nga mga sunod nga mga value sa x ang atong kuhaon para dili ka maglisod oha like for example this one the axis of symmetry is negative 3 over 2 or that is 1 point or negative 1.1 di ba negative 1.1 so ang number nga sulod kung kumukanta sa number line Next to negative 1.1 is negative 1. Kung going to the right, going to the right. Then next to negative 1 is 0, then 1. Because negative 1.1 is between negative 1 and negative 2, right? That's just tunga-tunga sa negative 1 of negative 2, si negative 1.5. Sa so, mga 1.5? <laughs> si negative 1.5, si ne mauni si negative 3 over 2, di ba? Kay negative 3 over 2 or negative 3 divided 2 is negative 1.5 man. Di ba? Oh. So but pa sa but in between si Jani, eh, tunga tunga si Jani negative 2 or negative 1, correct? Okay. So negative 2 if we are going to going to the left, so negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Nako ha. Okay. So kay na ano may value si negative 3 over 2, the vertex mo ni si Jani nga tong vertex. Now it, It's time for us to determine what are the values of y based on the value of our x. Kuha. Kung unsa yung value sa atong y, itong kuha ko ng value ni y. Depende sa given the value of x. Okay? So, unahon na ito sa negative 1. Sir, nga nung nagkuna naman kang negative 1. So, dun sa dun man, kay gamay man siya, gamay. Gamay man nga number. So, sa dun, sulbon. Ano nang dako? Uh, ahong isulti kung uh, unja, di ba ni ingunta nga, it's just a da, uh, axis of symmetry divides the quadratic or uh, divides the parabola into two congruent part. O ha. So, but pasabot, kung unsa'y value na, ni y3 as a picas, maupo dito sa picas. So, ano sulbon man tanan? Kinirang picas. Ako ha. So, sul, dili sulbon tanan. Dili, ah, but left and right. Dili, pwede ng right ra or pwede left ra. Kaya reflection ra man ang picas. In short, kung unsa'y resulta dere, maupo dere. Mix, but make sure correct ang inyong pag-solve. So, ha? Okay. Let's start with negative 1. Kaya lagi, negative 1 ko, kaya gamay-gamay pag-solve. What is 1, di ba? Negative 1. So, substitute it to our quadratic equation. So, we have y is equal to x squared plus 3x plus 2. Then, substitute negative 1. The result is 0. So, the result is 0. So, zero ang itong negative one. So, we have, let proceed to zero. So, let substitute zero to our quadratic equation. The result is two. Nakuha, the result is two. So, okay. Next is positive one. Substitute it to our quadratic equation. We have one squared plus three times one plus two. So, the result is six. So, six. Now, we have already the value of y. There is a right side. Koha. Then, na naman tayo value there is a y. So, kapiyon rin na ito there pa doon sa left. Sir, kapiyon rin ito? 0 to 6? Ha? Dili. Dili pariho o sequence. Pero, di ba ang mirror? Reflection man. When we talk about reflection, okay. Kung ito madumduman, mirror, di ba? Kung muingon ka sa right, mukha ka sa right, ang hands up sa iyong reflection is left hand, di ba? So, kung ang zero na dool sa negative one, dool na siya. Ayun nga na ang dating ka na. Di ba? Baliktad. Zero to six, pag-abot sa dali, ang reflection niya is six to zero. Di ba? Zero, zero, two, two, six, six. 
Kung pilay idang distansya gikan sa tunga, maupod sa right. Mao na refleksyon. Kapihon na largo. Now, we already have our table of values completed already. Now, it's time for us to graph. I-graph na to. And here's the graph. Here's the graph. Mao na itong graph. Now, that is our graph. That is negative 3 over 2. And negative 3 over 2. Negative 1 over 4. We have negative 1, 0, negative 2, 0. Tanawa, purma o parabola. No? Purma o parabola. Mailan ninyo nga rong, rong nga nga tukuhan kung nga nga tong parabola, dili mapurmag nga na. Mapurmag yun. Mo, si bagani, rong na daan. Okay? Mauna atong graph. So, this is our negative 4, 6, negative, ah, positive 1, 6, negative 3, 2, 0, 2. No? Sir, nga anumang broken mana, putod-putod mga tong linya. Take note that our given quadratic inequality used on sa gigamit ija nga inequality symbol on sa gigamit less than, di ba less than? So but pa sa but iyo ba jang nga kung less than or greater than ang gamit on dash line ang gamit dash line ang atong graph ang atong parabola broken line but pa sa but broken line but pa sa but wala diha ang solusyon kanang kanang linya diha kanang giagihan sa atong linya then aside from that ang atong mga points is halo halo black <laughs> halo wala i sulod but pasabot pod kana nga mga point is not the solution of our quadratic inequalities why because it uses di ba mao man ay atong solusyon sa atong quadratic equation now it uses negative or less than or inequality symbol nga less than basta less than or equal to gani oh no less than or greater than siya less than kung magamit po greater than halo automatic na halo gawas kung ang gamiton nga inequality symbol is less than or equal to or greater than or equal to katong naibagit sa ubos no mausa pa that's the time nga masidid na siya okay Pero sa atong problem, our given quadratic inequalities use, quadratic, uh, use inequality symbol nga less than man, less than. So, ang atong parabola is, ang atong parabola is broken line. And the point is, halo, halo black, halo, wala yung sunod. That indicates nga, dili si Damao, wala si Jay labot sa solusyon. Wala si Jay labot sa solusyon. Now, wala pa tama human. We are, di ba, ang sunod na step is we are going to determine whether ang atong sidan sa sulod ba or sa gawas. Di ba? Sa sulod o sa gawas ang atong sidan. Kaya those seeded part or seeded region of our graph are part of the solution set. Mabadya na sida. Kung unsa to'y atong masidan, mo to'y part sa solution set. Okay? Now, Masao na ito pag-determine. Di ba ni Ingon nga? We are going to choose or select a point inside the parabola. So, sulod sa parabola, magamit, mag-select tao point. So, let's choose or let's choose na, uh, point 0.5. Kining point nga 0.5. Then, uh, we are going to substitute that one to our original quadratic inequalities. Katong quadratic inequalities na ito nga y is less than x squared plus 3x plus 2. Ang atong y is 5. Diba? Y na siya is 5. Then 0 ang atong x. So, the result is 5 is less than 2. Which is false. Dili siya, tinood. Nga 5 is less than 2. So, therefore, kay false man siya, dili siya solution, put pa sa bot, wala sa sulod ang solution set. No? Kana ang solution set. Ang atong sedan sa gawas. So that's the and here's the graph of our quadratic inequalities. Y is greater than or no, y is less than x squared plus 3x plus 2. This is the graph. So, ha? This is the graph of our quadratic inequalities. So our conclusion, therefore the solution set of the inequality is the outside region of the parabola. Outside region. 
Oh, outside the word. Outside the word. Okay, so not. Example number two. So find the solution set of y is less than or equal to x squared minus 6x plus 5 and graph. No, and graph. Now we have solution, we have y is less than or equal to x squared minus 6x plus 5. No? Then next, we are going to borrow or we are going to rewrite this one to its equivalent quadratic equation which is y is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 5. Okay? So take note, Nga nga itong gigamit, nga ang nga, gigamit sa itong given ng quadratic inequalities is less than or equal to kinin ha. But pasabot, na i-part siya nga equal. No? Combination sa less than or equal to. So, na, take note ha. So, but pasabot, automatically na natay hint nga nga itong graph is dili siya broken line. Dili siya broken line. Kun Continue ra. Dil is the broken line. Solid line siya. And then, ang atong, ang atong point is shaded. Shaded, ano? Shaded point. Shaded point siya. Dil is the hollow. Oh. Solid point siya. Okay? Nanatayin. So, move ta sa atong quadratic equation. Na? So, first, we're going to get the axis of symmetry because we are going to graph. So, first thing to do is to get the axis of symmetry. Okay? Aha, ito man kuhaon sa vertex. Okay? Now, we have the axis of symmetry is our B is negative 6. So, we have negative times negative 6 over 2 times 1. That is positive 6 over 2. Our axis of symmetry is X is equal to 3. Now, substitute it to our quadratic equation. So, we have our vertex is negative ano? Our y is negative 4. Negative 4 is y. So, therefore, the vertex is 3, negative 4. Okay? 3, negative 4. Okay. So, the table of values, since our axis of symmetry is 3, 3, so, that this, is our, uh, this is our vertex, 3, negative 4. So, 3 ang atong axis of symmetry. So, kung mato ta sa right, uh, sa right side sa atong 3, Ang magsunod ni 3 is 4, 5, 6, diba? Then, si 3 po, sa kung sa left is, gikan kang 3, going to the left is 2, 1, 0. Itungan si 3. Diba? Tunga-tunga man si axis of symmetry. So, tungan po si 3. Okay. Ana. Diba? Okay. As, kaganina, diri ko napit nga portion, nagkuha. Uh, as we observe, dagko nga number. Dagko nga number. So, na chance nga marung ta. Diri ta sa, left side, kagagmay, sa dun ra. So, let's start with 2. 2. So, we have substitute it to our original, uh, to our quadratic equation. So, the result is negative 3. Ang y na to is negative 3. Okay. So, then next is 1. Ang atong 1, gisubstitute na to sa atong quadratic equation, ang ni result na 0. So, ang atong y is 0. Okay. Then, 0 of course, kung 0 ang x, si y is 5. Okay. Then, kung man naman ta sa left side, naingon ko ganina, is just a reflection. So, kana na po. Negative 3, 0, 5. So, si 5 na skili, 0, si negative 3, tapang negative 4. Okay? Kaya reflection man. Okay, we have, then it's time for us to graph. Okay, that is our graph. As you observe, Solid line, solid line siya, then solid point, solid point siya, shaded point, shaded siya. Kaya ang atong quadratic equation is, or ang atong quadratic inequality is, gagamit man of less than or equal. Okay, so next is, we are going to select or choose a point from or inside the, or inside the parabola. So, okay. So, mao na atong point. Okay, we are going to label. That is the label of our point. The label. O, label ba? Labelan na to. O, ganlan. So, mao na yung mga pangan sa atong point. 
So, 3, negative 4, 4, negative 3, 5, 0, 6, 5, 2, negative 3, 1, 0, 0, 5. Now, we're going to choose a point inside the parabola. So, atong gichus, 3, 2. 3, 2 ang atong gichus. 3, 2. So, we're going to substitute that one in our, or test, di ba, atong testingan sa atong quadratic inequalities. And, uh, okay, we have y is less than or equal to x squared minus 6x plus 5. Now, substitute, ang atong y is 2, ang atong x is 3. So, we have 2 is less than or equal to 3x, uh, 3 squared minus 6 times 3 plus 5. So, the result is 2 is less than or equal to negative 4. Correct? False. <laughs> it is false. So, therefore, wala sa sulod ang atong solution set. Therefore, nasa gawas. So, ang atong graph, ingani ang naong. So, naasa gawas ang shaded part. Okay? Shaded part. So, our conclusion must be, therefore, the solution set of the inequality is the outside the region of the parabola. So, okay. Thank you. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching. See you to our next video. Bye-bye.